David Drake's April 12, 1858 poem jar stands as one of the most important American ceramic objects ever to be sold at public auction. A massive vessel of 25 gallon size, it bears the well-known signature Drake used as an enslaved potter in Edgefield District, South Carolina. Dave, along with the date it was made, April 12, 1858, a Monday. Of an exceedingly rare four-handled form, Drake fashioned it this way to allow people to carry it. It is extremely difficult for one person to lift, even when empty. But what truly sets this object apart is the presence of one of Drake's rhyming couplets, inscribed by him on only about 30 known examples considered amongst the most treasured of all American stoneware. Each composed by Drake and taking up topics ranging from faith to slavery to patriotism to pottery itself, this example reads, a very large jar which has four handles, packet full of fresh meats, then light candles, probably a reference to the wax used to seal stoneware during the time period. Drake's short poems, which have been extensively studied over the last several decades, represent not only important examples of African American writing and song, but acts of defiance. Dating back to colonial days, South Carolina had outright banned teaching slaves to write. David Drake appears in various period documentary sources associated with multiple potteries in Edgefield District, South Carolina, the first being an 1818 document that shows him to be about 17 years old. Dave lived through a succession of people who laid claim of ownership to him, one of these being Lewis Miles, a prominent man with various local business concerns. It was at Miles Stony Bluff Stoneware Manufactory that Dave made this jar, and Miles' initials appear on the pot, as was customary for Dave's work. Dave is also referenced in newspaper accounts of the time and seems to have been well known and highly regarded throughout the area, as in this reference to the magic touch beneath which he shaped jugs, jars, crocks, and pitchers. Dave took the last name of one of his previous owners, Drake, in freedom, and this appears in an 1870 census listing as well as an 1868 voter registration roll. In post-war South Carolina, the U.S. military handled the registration of newly enfranchised African Americans. Drake's jar is also set apart by its wonderful glaze, as vibrant and beautiful as southern-style alkaline glazes can be. Its extremely large, rotund form coated in this glaze commands attention, and its size is noted on its side by 25 small punctates denoting its gallonage. David Drake has rightfully come to be regarded as one of our most celebrated early American craftsmen, an artist whose story of expression in the face of oppression has catapulted him to a level of far-flung mainstream recognition of which he probably could never have conceived. It is our true honor and privilege to be able to offer this national treasure in our summer 2021 auction of American Stoneware and Redware Pottery.